Measure and mark the Semicon strip back according to the manufacturer's instructions. Set the Semicon scorer blade depth to cut through most of the Semicon layer without cutting completely through to the insulation. Verify that the blade lever is in the square cut position and check the blade depth on a scrap piece of cable if one is available or by visually checking the blade at the end of the cable. The blade depth should be set to approximately three to five thousandths less than the semicon thickness. Place the 1700 SS on the cable at the point you marked and release the tension on the jaws. Make sure the cable is as straight as possible. Rotate the tool counterclockwise around the cable to make the square cut. Without removing the tool from the cable, Move the blade lever to the spiral position and rotate the tool until it reaches the end of the semicon. Watch the blade come through the end of the semicon and stop rotating the tool once the blade is fully through the semicon, but before the tool slides off the cable and the blade drops onto the conductor. Open the jaws and remove the 1700 SS from the cable. Use a knife, such as the Speed Systems SC11 Edge Wedge, to lift the end of the semicon so you can grab it with pliers, such as the Speed Systems SC13. Use the pliers to roll the semicon from the insulation until you reach the square cut. Use gentle pressure toward the square cut and keep the distance between the pliers and the cable to a minimum to prevent tearing of the semicon. You may see a spiral pattern on the insulation. Rub your thumbnail along the insulation to ensure that it is just a shadow left by the impression of the blade and not a cut into the insulation. 